trying to make me backslide up here. Y'all gonna sit down. Y'all gonna sit down. What's up, Thug Revival? God is good. Glory to God. See, y'all ain't had no weed, no liquor, nothing, and it's off the chain up in here. You can have some clean fun. Woo! Glory to God. First of all, we got to give our pastor and wife a hand clap of praise. This not happening in the, in the normal church, you know what I'm saying? A, the average church is not allowing the folk to come in and be they self. You, see, you understand what I'm saying? So let's, come on, we got to give our pastor and wife another, I'm talking about a real standing ovation. This is our first night in the building. You hear me? And we blessing the building like this right here, you know what I'm saying? Glory to God. See, we having fun, but don't get it twisted. Somebody got to get saved tonight. Huh? Somebody going to get saved over here tonight. Huh? We might have to lay hands, choke out. You going to say Jesus and Lord. Boy, Glory to God. Glory to God. My name is Prophet Gillespie. Formerly known as Pimp Crispy on the streets. Corn working production 250. P-I-M-P, -P, put it in my pocket. That's who I used to be. Glory to God. But now I'm in the blessing business. Amen. The Bible says it's better to give than to receive. We done had a good time tonight. But I want to just take a few minutes to talk to you. Serious. Glory to God. I'm 36 years old, and probably 22 of those years, I, I, I've been in the streets. I've been a hustler. I, I, I've been selling dope and hustling since 1986. Yeah, I dropped out of school to sell dope. Man, that, that, that wasn't, yeah, no, don't. you know what I'm saying? The devil tricked me. You know what I'm saying? The devil tricked me. Yeah, we, we, we ain't looking for no, no grace, no, no points. You know what I'm saying? But I just come to tell you tonight that everything that you've been doing that you think you've been slick and think you've been getting away with, you're not slick. It's just God's grace. <laughs> See, the only reason you ain't dead because, you know, the grace of God. You know, the only reason you ain't got AIDS is the grace of God. Huh? The only reason you ain't put out your house right now is y'all got it. Well, back in, back in the day, you know what I'm saying, when I was, in, when I was out there, uh, you know, the, the enemy made the street life look real uh, attractive to me. And, uh, but I always, you know, thought to be the slicker cat, you know what I'm saying? And, and so the guys that I hung around, they always snorted cocaine, always uh, drunk syrup, you know, pop pills. But I never did that. I was always a weed smoker, you know. And so I smoked my weed, and they was snorting their cocaine, and we was getting money. But back in that day, the enemy tricked you, because the trick was, if you snorted cocaine back in those days, that means you had money. Now, that sounds crazy, don't it? But that's to, you know, to some of the older folk in the room that understand that. You know what I'm saying? So I went on. I've been locked up. I had uh, my lawyer to pull, pull my, uh, my record, man. I've been locked up. I done got arrested like over 35 times. Grace of God, though. You know what I'm saying? The, the grace of God. I'm supposed to be up under the federal penitentiary, but the grace of God. So I just want to tell you, so, so the, the enemy knew I had a call on my life even when I didn't. 
So I made it by the grace of God all those years up to two, 2000 and, um, 2001. Girl I was messing with in Miami, Florida. And she came down to Memphis. And when she got off the plane, she said, I got something. I said, what? And so she said, some pills. And so she showed me these pills. And I was like, OK, well, what's up with these pills? You know? And she was like, y'all ain't rolling down here? And I was like, no, nah, baby, we, we rolling in dough. We ain't rolling off no pills, you know. But see, the devil know how you like it. See, if you like a man six foot tall, dark skin, he'll give them to you. Huh? Man, I took one of those pills, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I call myself kicking pimping. That we used to call it back in the day. I'm kicking pimping, got the gal from Miami. I'm on one of these pills. I don't know what's going on, but I'm, I'm going to take it anyway. It's part of the program, you know what I'm saying? She ended up leaving, and uh, it wasn't even a year later, those pills hit Memphis, Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? So now everybody liked the cocaine now. Remember, everybody that, that was on and had money took, you know, they was on the cocaine. Well, the, the enemy said, well, look, everybody that's on now, they taking these pills. You know what I'm saying? So I started rolling, as they say. I think I got out there probably a year and a half, two years just. You know, the pills had me party in party mode. I ain't care what, I could have had a, a party up in a country square dance session. You know what I'm saying? I was rolling, as they say. I was gone. You know what I'm saying? Just doing my thing, spending money. You know, it was just, it, life was just, it wasn't serious to me, you know? But I knew it was something better. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a new car. You drive for a couple of weeks, then, you know, it's just a, another car. So I knew it was something better for, in, in life for me. And one night... I was just sitting up in the hotel. See, I didn't know preacher lead me to Christ. The Holy Ghost just came in, and, you know, I had to make a, a choice. And, and I don't know who I'm ministering to. But I, I sat up in the hotel one night getting high as a kite. And I'm talking about high. But the next day, when I left out the hotel room, I had a partner come through named Don Mega. And Don Mega said, man, you glowing. He said, man, what, what's up with you? And I was like, what you mean? So the next day I had to make a decision was last night was I high as a kite or was God talking to me? Come on now. I don't know who I'm ministering to, but I come to tell you it was God. It was God. So I went through that whole ordeal and I, you know what I'm saying? And see, saints, we got to get back to fearing God. See, see we scatter the devil more than we scatter God. I was so scared to take another pill because I didn't even want to talk to him like that no more. Yeah, I'm telling the truth. God was up in there. Yeah. Hard day in on American Way. Room 210. He was up in there live. You know what I'm saying? Blowing my hat. You know what I'm saying? But it was real. But now, that wasn't my last day in the game. You know what I'm saying? That was my last day taking a pill, but I wasn't all the way out the game. So to my street folk, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't know who I'm ministering to. You know, I, I was like, I want to do better, but I need to roll this last package. You know, that package that, you know, if I can knock out, go and cut this quick 50,000, I can go and get out the game. I can go, I can live, say, better with a little bit more money. So the devil lined it right on up. I'm, here I go. We in the drug deal. And I'm sitting there. I'm with my mans. And he's sitting there, we smoking our weed, and we just talking to dope in the car. We just really, you know, talk. Then I jump out with my duffel bag. See, I came out on duffel bag, boy, because, see, I've been the duffel bag, boy, before Lil Wayne. You see what I'm saying? So, so as we sat there, I heard a voice. Listen to me now. I heard a voice say, if you get out the car right now, you can get your life back. I said, uh, I need to make this money, and then I can get my life back. You know what I'm saying? And so, the longer as it took me to sit in that car, the clearer the voice came, uh, uh, came to me. If you get out the car now, you can get your life back. I come to tell you right now, if you get out the car right now, you can get your life back. See, the enemy come not but to steal, kill, and destroy. You understand what I'm saying? So that means he going to fool you up until your, until your grace run out. See, you're not slick. It's just the grace of God. You understand what I'm saying? So he going to fool you. And see, and for me, I don't know who I'm ministering to, but for me, I didn't have no slip-ups in the streets. 
I mean, I wasn't with the getting robbed, and I wasn't no sucker in the street. I wasn't with all that. But it was just stuff was too smooth for me. Man, I'm telling you, man, women, I used to talk to women and just say two words, and they'd be like, let's go. I was like, now what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? The devil, I'm trying to tell you, he'll, he, he'll get you if you let him. So now the biggest demon that I've been seeing uh, over this three years, three and a half years ago, you know what I'm saying? I've been saved. I got saved three and a half years ago. So, so look, God have always allowed me to see things before they really t kick in and take effect. So since I've been saved, I've been seeing what's been going on with the young folk. You understand what I'm saying? And so it's a drug demon out here. And it's a lust demon out here. You feel me? Now this drug demon, let me tell you what's going on with this drug demon. It ain't cocaine no more. You know, you still got your cocaine users. But now they got these prescription drugs. These lower tabs. These four bars. Come on, somebody. This cert, they think the cert just came out. No, the cert been out. But see, this cert, that promethazine is eating up your stomach lining. You see what I'm saying? Them four bars is eating up your brain. You're going to look up, man, and your mind going to lock up on you. Because you're trying to be high. And see, if you ever seen anybody on them four bars, all you got to do is look at them. They look just like a demon. So, and then, you know, they up, you mixing uppers and downers, you know what I'm saying, man, look here, man, you chasing a high, man, man, you're going to mess around and die, man, you, you understand what I'm saying? And, oh, man, this lust, this lust demon, I've never saw so many uh, homosexuals and lesbians in my life. I'm talking about young folk. And I just want to minister to to, 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 to any, any ex-lesbians, because we're going to deal with you tonight. Any ex-lesbians in the house, you can dress up like a man, but every 30 days you're going to bleed. So you need to quit playing like you're a man. Pants sagging and all that, man. You feel me? God made you to be a woman. And to your men, you know what I'm saying, I ain't got to, you know, that, 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 that's, a, that's a, 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 a sad situation. You feel me? But, I just thug revival. Thugs is, uh, the acronym for thug is trusting, hearing, understanding God's spirit. The Bible said, wisdom is the principal, principal thing, but in all you get, get understanding. So you need to understand tonight that when God speak, you need to be obedient. You understand what I'm saying? Now look, I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. Just because you get saved tonight doesn't mean that you're going to get totally delivered tonight. We're not going to fool you like, you know, tonight, like when you leave, you might not, you, 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 you threw smoking blunts. You understand what I'm saying? But we're going to either sow the seed or water the seed and we're going to let God get an increase. All right. Now all give right. God some glory up in here. Production!